What's going on everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more of our little retro near series. Oh, it's so exciting. It's so much fun. Um, you guys are really enjoying it. And I got to tell you, holy moly on the Schwartz. <laughs> now, if uh, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry. It's fine. There's a little little bit of a inside joke, shall we? But um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate the support. And as always, if you guys enjoy, if you guys, if you all enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And I think what we're gonna do in this episode, I kind of talked about it last time, is we're gonna go, we're gonna grab the winch, which is right here, and we're gonna go ahead and grab our large solar panel that we had over yonder somewhere, somewhere over there. We're gonna grab that guy. We're gonna bring it over here. We're gonna hook it up, and we're gonna connect it to the base. And I want to see if it still works. It should. Because I feel like this lasts for quite a while. You can actually dig, put it in the ground, and it will, uh, if you leave, come back, it'll, like, re-solidify to the ground. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it'll re-solidify to the ground. You don't have to worry about it moving. All that fun stuff. So, um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I hope you guys enjoy, and that's the first thing. I'm trying to think if we're gonna need power. Nah, we're fine. We're fine. I'm sure we'll find some little, uh, well, maybe we'll hit a gas station on the way. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably not. <laughs> but um but yeah so uh we're doing this now i think the next episode is going to be we're going to skip a couple updates i think and we're going to move on to the next update and i don't know which one that is for sure so i don't want to say anything and be like oh this is the update we're going to because i don't know exactly i don't know exactly but i think we're going to skip a couple of updates go on to another one because i feel like once we hit like a big update um it's going to cause like game paper gameplay problems so we're gonna have to play like probably a couple episodes into it um it's got like kind of explore the stuff you know is this even connectable i think it is is it on this side yeah it is yes it is um so we're probably going to play a couple episodes power hmm <laughs> the truck has power but there's no power anywhere else where's the power oh man there's some over there that's a long ways to go i feel like my power is going to revital. You know what? Let's just go grab that. We'll go grab that. Why not? Hit up the gas station. Get some snacks. Get some things. Do some stuff. And, uh, but yeah. So I think we're going to do an upgrade. Pretty big upgrade. So, or update. So, like I said, I will probably end up starting a new series. And that'll be a couple episodes because I want to make sure that I kind of get this series done before we have, like, bef before the update, you know, before, before 1.0. And I think I will, but I'm not planning on playing an episode every single day. Mm -mm. No, sir. We're going to varietize ourselves. Varietize. That's a word. That's a thing. Absolutely. Don't argue. <laughs> it is. Um, we're going to keep keep the variety going a little bit. You guys really enjoyed the, the oxygen not included, so that's pretty cool. And actually, at the time of recording this, I streamed yesterday some oxygen not included. I don't know how well it did, but thank you guys for coming out. If you did, I do appreciate it. Um, I think I streamed. You know, if I end up not streaming, it's going to be awfully weird. Hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> you guys, things change on a whim. Things change on a whim. Okay, so there's that. Now, actually, if I do remember right, it was actually easier to uh, just grab this and pull it by hand. <laughs> it's going crazy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun. I forgot how much fun this was. Oh, let's stay out of the cave, though. Oh, and we broke it. Come on. Nope. Ah, 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 ah. Back, 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 back. We lost it. We lost the solar panel. We need it. We need the solar panel in our life. You know what? I haven't seen any floating rovers lately. Hmm. That was like a big problem before. <clears throat> and it doesn't seem like... What is going on here? We might have to go by hand. Let's see. Because we are super strong, if you didn't know. We are one with the force here. Because we can, we you know, we control everything with our minds. I mean, look, we, it's mind control, so it's probably part of the story, too. And, yep, there we go. See, this is, like, way easier. And then it physic locks <laughs> after it gets out of a certain range. Oh, jeez. You know, it'd probably be quicker if I just... It seems like it's getting awfully cloudy. I mean, I don't hear a storm. Interesting. Looks looks like it's getting a little foggy over here. Right over in yeah. You know what? Let's just carry. We'll just carry it over. We're gonna get to carry it by end. We're super strong like that. We're one. We are one with the force. What, what are we talking about? We are one. Um, this just in. I found my hydrazine canister that we blew up. <laughs> it obviously did not blow up. What are you stuck on? 
I think it, yeah, it left, I think it left the, the distance that it can go before it locks. So, uh, yeah, that's probably the issue. Anyways, uh, yeah, there was a little hydrogen canister right there. Now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have it over here, and I want it flipped over so that way it gets sun most of the time. Most of the time, I say. Most of the time, he says. Um, I was thinking about putting it up here because if we don't... So if we do something like this, okay, let's let go of it, and we actually need to get the sucker to flip on over. I'm gonna need you to flip over here, bud. Um, so if we do something like this, and oh, this is this is weird. Nope, nope, nope. That oh, yep, huh, huh, huh. Stay, stay. <laughs> okay, stay there. I need to disconnect you. Okay, we're good. We are good so far. Oh, it's about to be daylight too. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to dig this out. You know what? Why don't I have a solar panel on my bag? I need a solar panel on my bag. That way we can do this stuff during the daytimes and not have to worry about our power constantly running out. Do I really have no where to put this? Guess not. I guess not. Okay, so we'll put that there. We'll go up here and we'll get eh, eh, eh. okay. <laughs> We're good now. We are good. Now, I want this guy to sit semi-flat? Um, what are you caught on? I don't know what you're caught on exactly. There we go. Go ahead and do this. You guys remember this? I feel like this this used to be like a, a really popular thing to do. <laughs> maybe not so, maybe not so popular anymore. Uh, because, you know, getting all the power situation stuff figured out is really not that bad. But I do, I want to get this, I want to get it laying like semi-flat into the ground. Wow, that's going to have to go down pretty deep. That's fine, we got this. Alright, so that did not actually work. Um, I tried to, I, I did the whole leave come back thing and it didn't stay in the ground. Normally it gets stuck and you can like start filling it in and it'll fill in like through everything, but it didn't do it this time. I'm kind of curious why. I don't, I don't really know why I did it. Maybe I need to have it connected to something? Maybe that could be a thing. That could be a thing. Uh, we're gonna need a bunch of resin. Oh, ha! When I loaded it came back too. The resin like refilled. Magical. Absolutely magical. All right, so let's throw these in here. I have nothing. Wow, loud train, awesome, fantastic. Love the trains. All right, so let's grab some resin. Let's start getting some platforms up towards this bad boy. And then we're going to probably have to make another rover because we have to have that one rover if we want to keep the base connected. And, you know, we really don't have to go all that far. We really don't because if we just go pretty much, what is it, straight up like right here? <clears throat> yep. Straight up like right here. This guy will start working its way up, I believe. Yeah, look at that. Oh, the days. I can't see it. Boom. Uh, do I have one more? I do. He has one more. Which is exactly what I need. Look at that. Boom. Perfect. We can park a truck right there, a rover, whatever. What haves you? And I'm actually going to connect it. And I want to see if it does the, the whole little physics lock thing again, because I could have I could have swore it did it for the longest time. But I mean, I guess we're a couple months in technically in, in, in update history. Also, another disclaimer, I want to make sure you guys I want to make sure like everybody knows this, that um, this is not the current build of Astroneer, <laughs> because I again, I've had people comment. They're like, I can't believe Steam's Astroneer is so far behind. Where else are you playing Astro? Well, I guess you played on Xbox. That's a, that was a, that was that was a silly statement. A silly statement. Okay, so we have that. We have this, and I think what I'm gonna try to do now is I'm gonna try to leave the game completely and come back and see if she locks down because I feel like it's still a thing. But if it's not, then I don't know. I guess we're gonna. I don't know what we're gonna do because these things sitting here bouncing like this, they usually will like freak out and just. 
pop out and just like shoot up and then everything you worked for is gone and forever you will look like a fool so uh, i'm gonna leave and we're gonna come back hopefully it's like actually set and maybe that will work maybe if we actually leave quit the game down come back hopefully we'll have a fighting chance all right fingers crossed it worked i guess there's only one way to find out hey the rover's floating away <laughs> it's floating away it's floating away it's floating away and it's already moving i can see it darn it I guess they fixed it before this update. Man, that is like, that's terrible. I was really hoping, it, it was such a nice little thing to have and to be able to like do, see if I move it too much, I'm gonna start flying out of here. We're gonna have to like, we're gonna have to lock it down. Lock it down. Make sure it can't pop out over there. And then we'll go ahead and do some building up right here. Like this, and over this way. And that should prevent it from shooting up that way. Ish. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> I'm not confident in this. I'm not confident. Uh, maybe if we get one going across from here to here. Now, I don't think it's going to actually mess up the, like, the power distribution thing. Man, I really don't want to sit in there shaking like that, though. Wait, do I? Oh, I'm pulling it from the base. Okay. All right, we're gonna leave it like that. That's our that's our caged our caged solar panel. <laughs> it's restrained. We put it in restraints. Okay. So there's that guy. Um. Man, I don't know if that's gonna sit there. Because as soon as a windstorm comes by, eh, it might. Because it can't really go up if it as long as it doesn't as long as it doesn't do anything crazy and like jet out right here. And then it can't really, yeah, okay, I think it'll be fine, I think we'll be fine, okay. Alright, it's, we, we have it under control. Alright, so there's that, oh, ooh, we got some more resin as well. You know, I really like leaving and coming back. It's a good, it's a good solid way to get resin here on the, on the regular, I gotta say. Alright, the sun is peeking out. It is peeking out! Let's see if we have power on the base, we should. We should have a nice, strong stream of power uh, flow into the base. Now, I don't really know the best way to check this. Because I don't have a lot to do. Oh, you know what? It'll start by filling up this truck right here. Okay. So let's see. There we go. Oh, hey, uh, uh, it's getting close. It's getting close. Uh, it's moving. It's like actually moving. Okay, can we push this over? Oh, man. What happened? Can I put you... I guess, I guess that's it. I guess that's where it's going. Okay. Man, I used to be good at this. Okay. Eh. Uh, you won't connect there, will you? Nope, because it's too high. It is a too high. We gotta bring it down. Alright, bringing her down. You know, maybe I have to put it below the level of the ground around it. Maybe that will do it. Boom. Good and not good. <laughs> that was way good. Uh. Okay. If, I, if this falls in there, though, I don't know if that's going to cause any issues. Man, I wish I could control this thing. Worth a darn. I can't control it very well. Okay, let's try this. This was always half the fun, is getting the rover in place where it would work, like, confidently on both sides. There's that one, there's that one. Boom. Good to go. Okay. Cool. So, let's go ahead and we'll just toss that down there. So, I'm trying to collect some compounds so we can make more storage. Obviously, our base is completely, like, out of storage. It's insane. Um, it's kind of really funny, like, we have so much stuff. <laughs> we have so much stuff and nowhere to put it. It is really funny how those uh, the the new platform types made such a difference to base building and storage and things like that. You know, uh, bytes research like we don't have any research to do because we already have everything unlocked. You know, it's we don't have we have nothing to do with that aspect. So we're purely base building right now. I mean, we could build a shuttle and go to another planet. Uh, I mean, we could do that. I don't know. I we might save that for one of the later updates because, like I said, we're gonna have an update come out. 
Uh, the next one we're gonna play, I think it was quite a bit a bigger of an update. They redid the research curve a little bit. I think it's still like the uh, the lottery style research, but I think they added a few more things. Actually, I think the one we might play might be the introduction of augments. So I mean that's pretty exciting in itself. But um, we're gonna need so our whole base is this base is being powered by that solar panel. Now we could build a thing to connect. We probably should. Well, this side has these solar panels. <clears throat> mm -mm. Nope, we're good. We're good. Way good. This solar panel can control this half. That stuff can control this half. I like it. It works for me. It works for me. All right, so storage. Oh, we have so much storage stuff to do. All right, we had to come over and get the truck. We couldn't just leave the truck out here. It was lonely. It was scared. It was getting dark. It didn't know what to do. Um, but one thing I think I kind of forgot about, and I'm kind of curious. Well, a couple things, actually. We, there's a couple platforms we haven't built. We haven't built the fuel condenser. I don't know if that's here yet. I don't know if we unlocked it. Maybe. And we also haven't built a trade platform either. So we kind of need to take a look at those guys because those are like these are the originals, too. So uh, we're going to work on doing that. I don't know what to do with all this stuff. I did make some some storage, but as you can see, like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> There's so much stuff here. There's so much stuff here. Uh, okay, so we need this guy, that guy, that one. I think that'll do it. Ooh, I just about died. Just about kicked the bucket on that one. Um, okay, so let's see here. If I do, where do I want this one at? I guess we'll just toss it off of one of these. We'll start like right here. How's that? That'll probably work. There. Da -da, dun -da 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 -da. Okay. Printer fuel condenser right there. Oh yeah. Uh, research smelter vehicle bay trade platform printer. Okay, fuel condenser and the trade platform are the only two we need. So let's do let's do the trade platform first. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Aluminum and aluminum. Okay, perfect. So we got that guy. So let's go ahead. Let's do that. And bada bing bada boom. What does the trade platform look like in the early stages? I can't even remember to be completely honest. Oh, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> For the most part. Wait a second. I wonder if fire actually comes out of these because I think fire actually comes out of those now. But this is what's cool. Is this is like old school where you can trade off like some stuff. Like you could trade off all your good stuff. For stuff that you might want so like I don't know maybe if I wanted some lithium that's not gonna give me any lithium okay then <laughs> bad example I guess we actually have lithium right there we could build some more bat we'll probably build more batteries too um, but this was the, like the trade platform where it was it was super overpowered because you could just trade away for anything and actually you know what is even funnier is that hydrazine has a value wait it won't even does it not have a value? I thought it had a value. Wait, what happened? I can't even do anything. I can't click it or nothing. What? What happened? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Oh, that's really weird. It's like highlighting the whole thing. Uh, okay, Malachi. How much... Zero. Okay, so it won't, give, it won't give me any copper either. I want compound. Give me compound or resin. Oh, what is going on here? That is weird. Oh, eh, eh. come on, buddy. We have to like, you have to look at it, right? Don't look at it. Don't look at it while you're doing it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, compound. Yeah. All right. So this is where things get exciting. This is where things get exciting because let's get some one. I actually need resin. What is going on here? Okay, resin. We need resin. Two. Maybe I don't. Maybe we have enough. Oh, hey, I think we do. Three. Okay, that's cool. And let's go off of. I almost want to try sneak one in here. Let's try sneak it in here. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Uh, we're gonna put the fuel condenser right there. Yeah, betcha. Because you can use the fuel condenser, get your fuel, trade it off, get whatever you want. Oh, it was nice days. It was happy days. Happy days. 
Um, but it's actually kind of sad because the fuel condenser is completely gone now. It, I mean, there's not even a, you have the hydrazine catalyzer. Ooh, is this? You know what? I think this is. They added the second row. Because I believe in the beginning is the update, you only had the first row, and then they added the second because like, oh, you're gonna need more power. And... Is it gonna give us one whole canister? I think it's gonna give us one whole canister. And then later on, they updated, I don't know if it's gonna give us a whole canister or not. Yeah, it is. Uh, later on, they updated it to where it takes multiple full cycles to get you one hydrazine. Because, now look at this. We can trade off. And all we have to, all we need is power. Like, we're good on power. Where'd that power come from? Oh, there's a little teeny tiny battery over there. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, so now we can do it again. And boom, you're, <laughs> you're good to go. This actually stayed in for quite a while because eventually you get to the point where you need to make canisters for it, I think. And we'll find this all out. We'll find it out as we play. But eventually you're going to have to make canisters for it. And... Um, then it becomes like a little bit more of a process, but it's still like one like get on. Why is this thing so buggy? Okay, thank you. Three resin. I mean, it's just resin, so it's not like anything fantabulous, but still, it's it's cool nonetheless. That's still connected up there. You know what? I guess there's. Wow, well, shoot, this isn't. A, I was like, I guess there's one way to find out, but this isn't even connected to that circuit. Darn it. Okay, let's make this battery. I feel like we have plenty of power coming in. So we might as, well, might as well be harnessing it somehow. Put that on there and we'll put the battery over here. And like so, perfect. Hmm. You know what? That one has the rover as the battery. So we'll, we'll be good on that side. Okay. Cool. Maybe we should have it on this side. Well, we're not really using that much stuff over here though. Hmm. Shuttle, truck, rover. I'm trying to think if there's anything else like we haven't made yet. Uh, The generator. But we don't have coal. We don't have any coal here, so that's really not a thing. We made the winch, made the solar panel. So, uh, we didn't make the drill head. But I've honestly, I've never been a huge fan of the drill head. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. What does the drill head require? Uh, copper and copper? I got that. Because actually, there is something I wanted to try. More trial stuff. Um, get you. I can't believe it only costs copper. It's cost a titanium for... How long? I feel like it's been forever. I feel like it's cost of titanium forever. <laughs> um, and oh, it has the OG, the, the head on it because the new one is like actually like a black, like a shiny black one. Now, let's see, because right now in our version, you can't do like, you can't do this. The, the, the head doesn't work on here. However, is it going to work on here? Doesn't work on here. I thought it did. Oh, it does! You just have to click! You just have to click! But yeah, the drill head does work on here, however, it doesn't make a big enough space for, <laughs> for the rover to fit through. And it won't go, it can't go on a, uh, a single rover. Um, that is hilarious though. That's really funny, because you can, look at, I mean, you throw it on here. Do your thing, back and forth. And I don't know, does it take power while you're using it? Nope, it sure doesn't. It sure don't. But it, you can't you can't fit through the space that it's drilling, which is unfortunate. <laughs> I kind of want to dig straight down. Oh, that'd be so much fun. I mean, you kind of actually can get through here a little bit. And if we just kind of weasel our way back and forth. This is the worst way to dig a hole, though. <laughs> but you can. They give you the option. That's... That's actually quite funny. I like it. All right, let's put that on there. Get some power going. Um, but yeah, so there's that. There's that. Okay, anything else we haven't played with? No, I mean, we could build the shuttle, but... Like I said, I really don't want to go check out the other planes until, like, the next update. And that's just because, like, I mean, I guess we could build the shuttle. Because all the planets... I mean, the planets really haven't changed a whole lot. They have changed, but they haven't changed, you know? They're the same planets. They're roughly the same. They look about the same. Um, I think the only one that's like semi-different is Tundra, and I think it's... I, I don't know, that's like a huge difference. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll wait till the next update to go check those out. But, um, 
But yeah, so I believe that is actually going to wrap up this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more amazing retro Astroneer. Or as we are calling it, retro Nier. So um, yeah, I had a blast. I hope you did too. Like I said, next video is probably going to be an update. And we are probably going... There goes uh, Tundra right there. Look at that. Uh, we're probably going to be in an update and we're probably going to start over... Um, yeah, just because things are going to be new, different, research curve's going to be different, and there's no way to explore the research curve unless you're doing research, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.